Hello again, Arnold here. In my uh, last video, I talked about, or I, I showed you my uh, my new fly, uh, fly cutter made um, after inspiration from uh, Tony, on this old Tony. Um, Tony talked about the the center line in relation to the cutting edge how you want the cutting edge to be on the center line or maybe slightly above for an ordinary right uh, or clockwise turning uh, machine um, the, and he also talked about how you could use uh, milling tools tool holders for, for a fly cutter but you would have to use a left hand tool you couldn't use a, a right hand tool because the the tool bit would be on the up, upside when it's mounted on the center line or you would be way off center line and you'd have to rotate uh, counterclockwise so um, I had some stock left over from my mysterious uh, steel, which were quite hard, it was quite hard. Um, I decided to make um, a left hand tool, or left uh, counterclockwise uh, rotating, uh, where I could use uh, my ordinary right hand uh, tool steel. So whether this is a left hand tool or right hand tool, I don't know. It's uh, rotating counterclockwise, but you could use ordinary uh, right hand um, uh, lay tools, turning tools. Now, of course, I didn't have uh, another arbor or holder I could use, so I had to use some uh, silver steel that I had. Uh, it was 25 millimeters and I figured I, I, I hold this in a in a collet or I could actually buy a welding holder as well I, I should and then I could use the full 25 millimeters but in this case I turned down uh, the shank to 20 millimeter and the same on the other side I kept the the thicker mid-size hair to give it a shoulder to rest against um, and uh, for the tool holder, the, the, the slot is on uh, the left hand side of the center line, Whether, whereas on this one you see the, the slot for the tool is on the right hand to the center line and that makes this usable with a ordinary turning tool. Of course I could buy some left hand turning tools but uh, I haven't had the need for that yet and uh, I figured you know why not use the ones you have and uh, buy good inserts instead and uh, and of course I'll grind a high-speed steel tool bit for for this as well but it's, it's quite handy to be able to use uh, some carbide for uh, flight. I use uh, M6 grub screws so I drilled and, and tapped three holes, which were really easy on an angle with the DRO. Just turn in the 10 degree angle and uh, the spacing. I was planning to press fit and uh, just in case I, um, I put the, uh, the shank in the freezer for a, for a day. Doesn't hold more than minus 22 centigrades, but uh, it's better than nothing. And I didn't want to heat it up this time. Uh, but boy, that was a tight fit. Um, like it said in the in the book, it says uh, extreme force fit. That H8X8. So I had to use the vise. Was no hammering, <laughs> and uh, I just had to support. Uh, the angle here to uh, to be able to uh, to hold it in the vise so it looks pretty good I set it up in the, the mill to test the run out 
uh, on the shank I have a run out to about six hundredths of a millimeter mounted in a collet uh, I also checked out the squareness by putting in a, a tool steel and measuring measuring the the difference between the height in this position and in the opposing position 180 degrees and I I had maybe one or two hundredths of a millimeter which is fairly uh, well actually extremely good you know considering the force put on this uh, shaft when press fitting it uh, and I realized that this shaft has to be perpendicular to the cross section of this uh, groove here where the tool sit and uh, the way I was clamping this I think it's pure luck that I got this as square as I did and I actually think this is better than the first one I made we'll, uh, we'll test it out now and uh, I think we'll try it out with the carbide right away. <clears throat> I'll uh, try out with a smaller radius at first. Uh, I have just a piece of scrap metal here, we'll try that. It's just uh, low carbon steel, I think. I don't actually know the origin origin of this either. Uh, I got some scrap metal uh, uh, on the yard sale, and uh, there were some nice pieces there I want. So. And we must remember to run counterclockwise. Almost forgot.
I think I can run it faster. I'll try uh, 355. Surface finish looks better. Try five hundred. Touched us a little bit on the backstroke as well. So <coughs> it might be the mill or it might be the squareness of my flycatcher. It's uh, it's hard to tell. I've always had a little bit of problem with larger mills, shell mills, etc. That they uh, they also cut on the I, I call it the backstroke. I don't know what it's called, but um, it might be unavoidable. I, I see. You know, many guys get that, and uh, so let's just finish this. didn't help any for the finish I think the speed was more important and as you can see the the finish is quite good um, like I said it did cut on the backstroke most of the way but not uh, I mean this way but not at the end here so I have a little tram problem on the on the mill uh, I need to sort that out it's about you know a hundred hundred and a half something like this but, you know, I'm happy with this. And um, I'm, I'm really happy that I, as a beginning machinist, can uh, make some useful tools. Stuff I don't have to buy. Uh, you can modify, make new ones. I'll probably make some, some new ones later when I get more experience. Uh, there's some you know you make some mistakes when you you do this but uh, I won't tell you about this in this video but um, I'm happy and now I have a right hand tool for uh, high-speed steel and I have a counterclockwise tool I should say for uh, my late tools and I can use my standard uh, holder lay, lay tool so, I, uh, I, I'm sorry I didn't 
videotape the actual making of this. Uh, it takes quite a bit of time and it, it makes it so much work to to edit. Uh, I'll see if I could get more into making machining videos and uh, explaining what I'm doing and stuff like that. But you know, I'm, I'm a beginner and I, I don't really have that much to to teach any of you guys. There's better, better channels for that. But you know, I just want to make uh, just want to show you what's possible when you start out and uh, fun stuff to make your own tools. Hope you enjoyed this and uh, thanks for watching.